Hi, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today, I thought I would uh, share with you another camera review, a camera I've had for a little while now, which I haven't actually reviewed on this channel before. I haven't hardly used it. I've got a film in it. I got given to me a couple of years ago, and I've got a film in it, but I haven't completed the film in it at the moment, so I can't really show you any shots from it. I have seen shots taken with this camera, but I haven't got any I can show you today. So um, it's um, a beautiful little point and shoot. And this is it. It's the Canon. You can probably see it there from the front. It's a Canon SureShot 28V Prima, or it's a, it's a Canon Prima Super 28V. It's an autofocus camera, and it's a beautiful little camera. To, to get it started, what you do is you just pull this back here, and out it comes. And you're all ready to go. Notice the flash popped up. So I'll just explain a few little bits and pieces about it. And uh, first of all, it's got a Canon zoom lens. It's a 28 to 70 millimetre f5.6 to f7.8 zoom lens. Now to work the zoom, you've got a little lever, uh, a rocker switch there on there. So I'll just put it side on and you'll be able to see what happens when I, I zoom out, hopefully. Let's have a look, put it around that way. Here we go. So I need to hold it down. So it goes all out and it goes back to the wide angle. So that's the little rocker switch on the back there that works that. Now there are other, some other uh, interesting adjustments on the back here. So you can see these little adjustments on the back there. There's a wheel down there. And uh, also in here, there's a little window that opens up. And on that, you can actually turn the flash on and off. Unless you use that little button on the top there in that little window there, um, you, you, the flash will fire automatically in any situation. And even though you might turn the flash off from operating, uh, it still stays up like that. I don't know there's any way around doing that, but that's what it does. So there are these settings here. You see the settings there? I'll zoom in close. Hopefully you'll get a focus on that. There we go. And it's an auto setting. And there is a um, an action setting. There's a close-up setting. There's a portrait mode. There's a spot mode. The spot mode is for um, spot focusing. I thought it was for spot metering, but I think it's just for spot focusing, focusing in the middle of the picture. And uh, I'll just be able to tell you on here, just hang on a second. I'll just go like that. I'll tell you some of the other, uh, those symbols, what they take. So I'll just go through what, what the operations are that you can actually adjust on the camera. So I'm just looking at the screen and reading this off. So so you, you've got your action mode, which is a pretty standard um, mode on um, on most uh, point and shoot cameras or a lot of a lot of cameras these days, whether it's digital or uh, or uh, film cameras, taking portraits against the night background, that's called the night mode, taking close-ups of nearby objects, that's the close-up mode, taking portraits, portrait mode, and taking centrally focused pictures, which is the spot mode. And there are also uh, a self-timer mode on this camera. There's a focus lock mode, changing the flash and red eye reduction modes, flash on, flash off, slow synchro mode, red eye reduction mode. So there are some of the main features that you've got of this little camera here. It's a beautiful little point and shoot. One of the uh, good things about this little pop-up flash is if you ever are taking pictures in daylight time and you don't realize that you've, you should turn it off rather than use it, I mean, it's a good idea to use flash outdoors for fill flash when you're taking portraits of people anyway, particularly if they're bat lit, because this works a treat. I've seen what this camera can do in that regard. And it's a very good little fill flash camera. So it's a lovely little point and shoot. Um, takes, I'll show you the batteries it takes. Put it in here somewhere. It takes a lithium three volt battery. Boom. Pull it out. And it's a CR123A three volt battery, lithium battery. Quite a reasonable size battery. There it is. And um, lithium batteries, of course, last a bit longer. 
and the way to get the, the battery out is in this there's a little compartment just here somewhere. Let me see if I can open that for you. Open it. There it is. So there's the battery compartment there, little that opens up there and you, you get your battery out there. So there you go. Not too much else I can tell you about it, but I have seen the results of this camera. It's a nice plastic feel. It's it's solid and feels good in the hand. It's not heavy, but it's not ultra light. And it's got a beautiful finish on it. You've got a little window in the back here, so you can see what film you've got in the camera at any time. And um, on this particular cord that came with it, there's also a little button here where you can press the rewind button. The rewind button is just in the back in there, you see. So there's a, a spot there, just down there, just about there. I'm not going to press it because it'll rewind the film. But there's a little spot just down there where you can press it in, and that'll rewind the film. So there you go. It's a beautiful little camera. I'd highly recommend that if you wanted a good point and shoot. I don't know. It's also called um, something else on the market. Let me have a look and see what that was. It's called a, um, just see if I can find it here on the computer. No, it's not that. Bear with me. That one. Just bear with me for a minute. I'll find what I'm looking for in a second. I think it's a, it's called a 28N, I think. I won't bother to look it up, but, but you can look it up. Just put in your search engine. You'll find videos that people have made about this camera on YouTube, I think. And you can look up the history of it. I think in some other places it's it's called a Canon 28N um, camera, sure shot camera or something like that. But uh, so in different countries, it's probably called different things. Anyway, it comes with a nice little case. I've got this little case when, when the people who gave it to me gave it to me and uh, they got some good years of use out of it. And, and now I've got it and I should be using it more often because I've hardly used it at all. And once I've used it properly, I'll go out and do a photo walk with it, like I've done with my Canon 500N one day, I think, film camera, digital, S no, sorry, film SLR. I'll do the same with this one, and I'll show you some results at a later date. So once again, thanks for watching. Like if you like, subscribe if you wish, and uh, I'll see you next time.